Hello everyone, welcome back to Analytical Guy. So new year is around the corner, it's just two months and it will be 2025. So how we can leverage these two months to become job ready? So if you're a beginner in business analyst profiles or data analyst profiles and want to know how you can leverage the new skills and how to grow in this career, it is quite competitive, right? So if you apply, there would be 1200 job applications for just one position, it's massive. So because there are so many people they are moving into data profiles and maybe they don't know if they are really good at it but still they are moving in but how to become a successful data analyst so first of all we have to learn the basics so i'll give you the eight weeks roadmap that is two months approximately and then by the end of this year you will be more confident than you are today right so first of all we will start with basics week number one will be more on working on microsoft excel if you don't know if you feel you are really good at microsoft excel then you can skip this part and then you can do what we are doing in week number two right so in microsoft excel the most important part is working on formulas understanding the formulas like xlookup then working on pivot tables working on dynamic arrays and then working on overall modeling part of it so if you want to create an excel dashboard how you can create that from end to end once you import the data then creating the data modeling part and then working on pivot there are so many concepts i have already covered those concepts in a particular video i'll share that link with you so you can watch that video for one or two hours and then you will be more confident on that aspect for sure so just spend one week on microsoft excel by one week it doesn't mean you are working on microsoft excel every time so it can be one hour or two hour in a day so if you are very confident with microsoft excel you can skip this part or you can do some part of revision but emphasize more on microsoft power bi that is week number two concept so it is a very important visualization tool as of today. So if you are working on, let's say, Tableau, that's fine. I am not discouraging you, but there are so many jobs related to Microsoft Power BI. So I can see here in Australia, in India, I was looking in on LinkedIn as well as in Nokri.com. So there are so many job applications where recruiters, they are looking for the skills such as Microsoft Power BI, then working on DAX, data modeling, and then in future, they will be looking for Microsoft Fabric overall. So it is a very important skill for a data analyst or a business analyst. So I believe working on Power BI, working on DAX, data modeling, Power Query is quite important. So if you start today, watch a video or two, understanding what Power BI can do. If you're new, just watch uh, a video on uh, introduction to Microsoft Power BI. I'll share the link with you as well. So watch that for two to three hours and then see what it does, how it can change the raw data to a transform data and then give you amazing visualizations and then how you can publish them on the service as well. So it is an end-to-end -end project that you can work on and my suggestion would be once you're working on it, it is week two, you just started with Power BI and then you're learning it. Once you are used to it, you create your own dashboard, you should publish this on your GitHub or any other portfolio website so that you can share that with the recruiters because the market is so competitive. If you submit your resume with your portfolio without doing anything, it is really hard to be selected. Right. So if you work on the concepts like uh, data modeling uh, in star schema, then working on relationships, working on power query to clean the data, to manipulate the data, working on optimizing the query. These are the some advanced concepts which will come in Power BI. So work on Power BI from week number two to week three. So two weeks are good enough to understand at least 70% of what Power BI can do. I'm sure there will be so many months. So until today, it's been almost four years that I'm working on Power BI. I don't know, let's say maybe 20% of Power BI. So it's not easy for anyone to learn everything in two weeks, but it is good enough to understand what it can do. It is good enough to for you to create a dashboard of yourself, to feel more confident, to understand what it does and uh, be confident while you're giving the interview, right? Then if you talk about the next week, I believe it is very important for you to understand SQL. If you're a data analyst, Working on databases is very important these days. So much of data is there and you need to understand how SQL works to import the queries to a particular slice and dice the data from the database. Even if you're not working on SQL on day-to-day -day basis, but knowing SQL will help in growing and getting the promotion for sure. So learning SQL is quite important, quite imperative for you. So you can watch some videos on introduction. I have already created some videos. I'll share the link for that as well. Apart from that, there are a few other uh, YouTubers who are really good in SQL, so I can share the link of them as well with you so you can watch the videos. So in SQL, it is very important for you to understand the basics of how it does, like what is the queries, uh, like CRUD uh, formulations, then working on uh, join um, statements and then working on stored procedures and uh, window functions and various other things. So working on scenarios, it is really important to understand how it does, right? So it will take uh, definitely for two weeks or three, uh, understanding the SQL part of it, because uh, 
Understanding basic is fine. Like if you want to do select star from table name, that is very easy. It's a beginner basic thing. But if you want to create or formulate the logics, you need to work on databases for longer time so that you are used to it and you are creating your own, right? So once you're done with this, then create your own portfolio project on the basis of SQL, right? And then publish this on GitHub. Use GitHub as your platform where you can publish your reports again and again. Uh, you should be more active on that once you are used to your tools, right? Also, once you're done with this, now you know Power BI and SQL, right? This is the time to create a portfolio project for uh, integration from MySQL or SQL Server to Power BI and then create a beautiful dashboard, interactive dashboard that you can share on your LinkedIn, on your GitHub, right? So by this time, you are confident to create a dashboard. You know SQL, you know Excel, you know Power BI. So it is very nice stage to be at because you know what you're doing, you are liking it. At least you will get to know if you're really loving it right at this time if you're saying that hey it is good we have good money in this job so let's stick with this uh, if this is your approach i believe you should uh, go back to your strengths because not everyone can work on in a data field right it is quite competitive it is evolving only the people who are really serious about it who are really good at it will survive right so once you're done with this the next week uh, you have to work on python if it is uh, too overwhelming you can skip this otherwise python is really important for data analyst maybe in beginners level you might not need python but uh, growing further if you want a salary of let's say 20 lakhs 30 lakhs 40 lakhs uh, in india um, annual basis so you need to know python you can't get 50 lakhs uh, per annum uh, for just power bi knowledge for sure right so uh, understanding these aspects plus uh, working on your communication skills working on your oratory skills working on your uh, storytelling skills so it is not a one day job so it's not like hey I just want to learn tech skills and then let's uh, once the tech skills are done then let's go for data storytelling skills or other skills so I believe spend let's say 30 minutes or 45 minutes if not more every day on uh, extracurricular activities like this then working on um, communication working on how you can improve your interpersonal skill so how you can improve how you talk to the people so for example if you go on a networking event and then you're not able to talk to anyone then it's a waste opportunity because there was opportunity to connect with so many like-minded people to understand what they do to tell them what you do and then they might be interested in your journey and this is how you can you know improve the network and have a nice uh, trustworthy network right so it is important for you to learn all these skills so it doesn't come in a day so learn these skills every day for 30 minutes or 40 minutes apart from the tech skills right so now that we are on week number seven you work more on Python, if you're not uh, very comfortable with Python, just stick with Power BI, SQL, and Excel. These three things will be good enough to start with, right? Also, one more thing is Power Query. So if you're working on Power BI or Excel, Power Query is quite imperative. So when I talked about Power BI, like week number two and three, so Power Query was included, right? So working on Power Query to clean the data, to manipulate the data, it is an ETL tool, right? So extract, transform, load. So importing the data from MySQL, then cleaning the data, then manipulating it, it is very important tool for a Power BI developer, for a data analyst as well, right? So work on all these aspects as, a, as the timeline says, and I have already shared the resources with you. Just watch them and see what it is. If you believe you are stuck somewhere, just mail me on admin at the rate analytical guy tech and I'll revert with the solution to it, whatever you are stuck with. And this is how you can work on two months of your uh, data analyst journey. And once you're done with all these things, then at the end, you have to work on more concepts in data and I'll share the link with you as well on what kind of concepts you're working on. And then just try to embed chat GPT in all these learnings. So if you're working on, let's say, uh, learning SQL, then work on various videos and try to create your own SQL queries, work on scenarios, but use ChatGPT as well to learn even further. Don't use ChatGPT to help you create the queries, but use ChatGPT to enhance your queries. So you already created the query, but you want to improve it. So ask ChatGPT, hey, I created this query, how I can improve that? How I can optimize it? So this is how you will learn new things in uh, SQL as well. So similarly with Power BI, so generally I use chat gpt to learn dax so i have created a dax right so next is to improve that so i'll just uh, shoot that dax query in power B, uh, in chat gpt and ask him hey i created this dax and this does this and how to improve that so it can give you guidance and for sure you need to know the basics otherwise you won't be able to understand what chat gpt is giving you also if it is right or wrong right so this is how you can work on all these tools and i believe once you're done with this it is very important uh, for you to showcase your output so as I told you about uh, GitHub and LinkedIn, use LinkedIn uh, to maximum. 
to use uh, and create the projects and upload them on LinkedIn is very important. Uh, maybe it's not about uh, growing the followers. It's not about that. It's about once you add the project, maybe recruiter will see your profile and see, hey, he's active. He, she's active on LinkedIn working on these projects. He's at least interested in data job, right? So there might be a possibility that it will help you get a job. It's not, not a sure shot for sure, right? Also, after completing these two months uh, working on this timeline, there is no guarantee that you will get a job, right? market is so competitive even knowing these skills you need to learn more you need experience for beginner jobs they need experience so it's quite challenging and very frustrating at times but i can guarantee that after two months of uh, doing this course uh, of action watch all the videos in a 17s manner you will be more confident right so that's more important because you should be confident enough that once you get the interview opportunity you crack that right because interviews are really hard to get in because let's say you apply for 100 job applications out of 100 you get uh, three or four interview opportunities so those are the time those are the opportunities where you have to ace right you can't deny that fact that hey i'll get so many opportunities so it's next time so whenever you get the opportunity you have to crack that for that you have to be ready you have to be confident maybe you know the skills but you're not confident you have to improve the game you have to work on all those skills apart from tech skills as well right so i'll just share all those resources follow them watch them do it yourself data field you can't just watch and uh, become a data analyst you have to do it yourself so watch them do it yourself relearn redo and then ask your mentors you can mail me as well and i can help you on with your journey so let's try to become a successful data analyst in the next two months and by the next year january 2025 you should be more confident about your profile i hope this video was helpful thanks a lot for watching